I V M. Welcome to another week on IVM. It's been a great week. If you aren't following us on social media, please make sure that you are. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. On Cyrus Says This Week, Cyrus is joined by actor and comedian Gaurav Gera. They talk about Gaurav's journey in showbiz and the inspiration behind his shopkeeper Behenji sketches. On Simplified, Naren and Triket are joined by guests Avanti and Zain from the Marvel's Lost and Found podcast. On Geek Food, Tejas and Jishnu give their take on Ant-Man and the Wasp and discuss the future of the Ant-Man verse. I'm really looking forward to that. That was a great movie. On Varta Lab, last week founder of IVM himself, Amit Doshi. Hey, that's me. Talk to Akash and Naveen about being Amit Shah's doppelganger, my journey so far, and how he started on IVM podcast. I'm sorry if that grammar was twisted. On Keeping It Queer this week, we have the producers of Vice's latest web series, Sex Rated. And with that, let me take you on to your shows. Hi. You're listening to IVM Daily. Hey guys, welcome to IBM Daily, a show where we talk about anything and everything. Uh, my name is Gaurav Aya and in the studio today I'm joined by Surbi. Hey, what's up? Abbas. Hello. And we're back with Rachel Lopez. Hello. <laughs> so you guys heard our first chapter of this uh, series of No Sex in the City before. Today we're back with chapter 2. Last time we talked about our online dating profiles, how to talk with people, what to include in our profiles, uh, such and such. So by now you guys have probably you know cleaned up your act a little bit, gotten that first date, and you guys are wondering what to do and not to do on that first date. So uh, Rachel Lopez, we're going to start with you, Rachel. Right. Uh, tell us, tell us some of. uh the worst experiences you've had on a first date maybe oh no i'm 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 actually quite lucky i've been to a total of 5 dates in my whole life uh oh. in 36 years But and only 3 of them have been on a dating app so okay. as we said last time you know girls are very very selective um mm-hmm. so i've not actually had i you know guys who i've dated yeah they're so sweet <laughs> uh, thank you i had a wonderful time i have no bad stories they've all been really sweet yeah Okay. What about one what about you? One guy sang for me. One guy sang for me. Oh, and wow. that was good. Yeah, it was. Was like, he a singer? Yeah, he was pretty oh, good. Thank he God. was pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. And I mean, he volunteered, so I was like, yeah, go for it. Oh, nice. So. Did he get on a second date with you? Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and a bunch more. Oh. <laughs> uh, what about you, Surbi? I've not been on too many dates off a dating app because, again, I'm super. I don't know. Like, it takes a lot of mental energy for me to be like, whoa, I'm meeting a guy off an app. So yeah. it's it's so yeah I've only been on one date and yeah that's that's the guy I've been hanging with okay my mom's listening to this <laughs> <laughs> they hold hands <laughs> we just talk get mom we just talk a lot yeah. like sudoku <laughs> So, But did he sing for you, Surbi? No, of no, course. he did not. That sing That is why they are dating. First date goes. It's, not, it's yeah. not always that singing is equal to second date. Trust me, I've tried this on a first date. Okay. It doesn't always work. Oh, which which brings us to the question: How many dates have you been on, sir? Uh, I have been on relatively a lot of first dates. Mm, Give me a number. Give us a number. Drop us a number. Maybe between eighty and ninety. Shut Ooh. the hell up. Ooh. This is off a dating app. Ooh. Not dropping a girl whom doesn't count as a date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> no, no. I mean, I have had like different like ranges of dates from like uh, half an hour dates to like four hour dates. Ooh. What was the half an hour date like? Half an hour date was just like a walk. You know, mm. I can't walk for more than half an hour. Like, I'm tired. All of you already. And she just kept yeah. walking. <laughs> <laughs> well, you oh, said no, 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> Walk uh, to the it, it, it wasn't exactly <laughs> like that. It was it wasn't exactly like that. It was just um I had a lot of things going on that day, so I just had a half an hour amount of time right. to spend with her. So we thought, hey, let's just go for a walk, have some ice cream, and then you know, I got a rush, but we shall do this again soon. And okay. did she? So, yeah, we met oh, again. Lovely. We mm. met again. Uh, and you didn't go on a walk, I'm presuming. <laughs> Actually, no, we did. Oh, we did. Okay. This time it was like an hour long walk. This time Ooh. she timed it. And She's then there like, was coffee oh, after okay. instead of ice cream. We were getting healthier and better. Right. Yeah. <laughs> wait, Abbas, I want to know what is uh, so uh, again. Like, wait, tell, Abbas yeah, needs asking, to tell us about I'm his terrible dates. Yeah. Yes. What What terrible dates? I've never had a terrible date. How I many had. dates have you had? In life, in the first dates, huh? not all dates. Yeah, yeah I mean all dates as at some point first huh. dates. Uh, <laughs> no, oh, what? Look at him. Uh, I, th- I think seven, seven first That's dates. That's not bad. Yeah. That's and not bad. And five of them have been off app, t- dating apps. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you you said Tinder, say it. You could say Tinder. Uh, four off Tinder, one off uh, OK Cupid. Oh, not Ooh. bad. OK, a buzz. <laughs> <laughs> no, but which one? 
have have you had any bad experiences where the date just uh, turned, didn't turn out right or yeah. no i mean or didn't turn up yeah well, they they all turned up thankfully Ooh, one nice. of them even came for my stand up show so i apologize for that uh, <laughs> <laughs> but the I, i've never had a bad experience but the only sort of so all of them all five of these four of the five uh, hmm. proceeded on to a second date Ooh. there was just one that didn't and what? i don't know <laughs> i don't know her fault and her, okay and no her and now loss, i want to know why Yeah, I mean, I don't know why because we we went for coffee, we had coffee, we spoke about. It just became one of those mechanical conversations where, where I was telling her what I do, oh, okay. and she was telling Halas, me what she Halas. does, and and then and then mm. I dropped her home, and then she just wop, 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 yeah. Wop, wop. But I mean, you 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 just had told us yourself why there was no second date. It was all mechanical, right? Mm. Yeah, maybe. So I mean, even you didn't feel the chemistry. So mm. I mean, sure. it's not like even even us being dudes and everything, and it's tougher for us out there. We also, I guess, like maybe online, we are much more accepting of a lot of profiles. But when mm. we go on dates, yes, uh, when we're actually putting in time and effort and mm. sometimes money also on that date, uh, we, we also have some sort of standards where we're like, you know what? If it's not happening on the first date, let's let's not uh, yeah. put effort into something That's which fantastic. isn't really going to be fruitful, which isn't mm. really going to. Uh, go anywhere. Go anywhere at all. It's just going to be a bunch of awkward conversations until like. I'm bored of her, or she's bored of me. Uh, I mean, and I think you know, like it's totally fine to be like, yeah, second date didn't happen, and you know what? It was mutual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, you sure. don't know what her reason was, but I mean, yours was pretty obvious that it was pretty yeah, mechanical. I mean, don't kill yourself. And that over happens it. a lot yeah. on first dates. Yeah. You know, do you guys when you guys normally go on first dates? I mean, I know you guys haven't been on as many as oh me. Oh my god! But, <laughs> stop. Okay. <laughs> stop rubbing it in, guys. No, no. But I'm I'm just saying because I wanted a statistical kind of answer. That's why I said that. But. Do you guys usually have alcohol on your first date? Yeah. <laughs> on, on the one day. Because we have one day that you were. Yeah. Yeah. But 100%. no, I mean, so that's the one day I uh, I went out off a dating app, but otherwise in life in general I've been on three guys. Come on. <laughs> You've been three. on three guys. I've been on three, been on three dates. dates. Okay. Three dates. Oh, in my whole life. But again, alcohol is it's easy because you can have a conversation and then I don't know, it just maybe I don't know, I got to think about it much. But now Think I I would never go for a coffee because it, really? it seems like a yeah. It, it seems, seems like, like a, you would be nervous. No, yeah, that also. But seems like a super professional kind of way oh, to address that's, that's a so date. That's so interesting. That's so interesting. We're going for a coffee. My mind, oh. sorry. <laughs> where do you go? Where, where do you generally go? I mean, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I've gone on all kinds of things. Um, so I've done a museum tour, which I thought was really nice uh, Ooh, because it meant that the guy the was paying date. attention to yeah. It mean it meant that he was paying attention to my likes. likes and dislikes, and that he had something to say. I mean, a dumb man will be at a loss for words at mm. a museum, but it was really nice. Uh, sorry, not a museum. We went to an art gallery. We went on um, Art Night Thursday, so it was an evening date, and we went to like a whole bunch of galleries. Where was and we this made again. Uh, the guy? No, no, I no, could send him over. I could send him over to me. He's really gallery. sweet. The gallery. <laughs> <laughs> so Thursday nights, one Thursday uh, of every month is devoted to Art Night Thursdays when the galleries stay open till about uh, till very late, about eleven yeah, nice. thirty. And so they do. They put out wine and cheese in some places. They do special walkthroughs, and sometimes the artist is around and things like that. And if you like art, or more importantly, if, if you don't like art hmm. and you don't understand it, and you need a little bit of hand holding, it's a damn fun place to be because. Mm. Everyone is standing there going. Holding. I don't understand these blobs. <laughs> you know, and you're standing there not understanding the blobs with other mm. people, which is nice. And then sometimes you can just, you know, the uh, the artist will take dumb questions like, "What does this painting mean?" Mm. And then you actually dump. Is that actually dump? Is that actually a dumb question? Yes. Okay. Um, um, well, well, you will you will find out, I guess. And they're usually very patient with you know. Sometimes a painting doesn't have to have a meaning or a oh, message yeah. or what do you think it means, and that allows you more um, engagement with the you know with the work. Anyway, yeah, okay. but, 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 I was like, but, are you on but, an art appreciation but, podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Which would be wonderful, by the way. But uh, yeah, so I've been on an art night uh, walk. I've been. Uh, we went to one particularly fun one. Uh, we spent a Sunday going to uh, a dog shelter and sort of just petting dogs, which I thought was very really nice. And so, guys, it doesn't really have to be. a bar it doesn't always have to be alcohol mm. which is you know if 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 the girl or the guy is interested of go ahead but kind of you know stretch out the possibilities of what you can do in the city mm-hmm. um 
it's quite possible that you just go for a walk as you did mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it doesn't have to involve Sometimes being seated really across nice. yeah. you know from someone and doing some kind of a um, uh, professional linkedin interview <laughs> type you know oh so can you tell me you know how many years of experience <laughs> yeah so none of that uh, so yeah i i think uh, i've had some good ones and so, but you have gone to bars also yes i have but uh, so Would how i drink Did, did you drink with them? Uh I don't drink very much uh-huh. so I've said up front that maybe I'll have a beer and maybe that's all I've had okay. you know which okay. is okay which all is okay right. I don't drink at all so none of my dates have included Excellent. alcohol <laughs> Where do you go to Mostly coffee shops but there was one over pizza there was one over fried chicken there wow. was one on marine drive so nice. yeah Oh wow yeah, <laughs> yeah. nice that's nice that's really beautiful That's really nice mm. Uh so usually for me at least uh alcohol becomes something well it's just something to open someone up you know cuz i'm i think of myself as a good conversationalist but for me also it's difficult to have a conversation with someone who feels uncomfortable yeah mm-hmm. right and that uncomfort is not necessarily to do with who i am as a person or the vibe i'm giving off it just might be their own like anxiety yeah. or their you know them being introverted and not That's being able mm-hmm. to open up that easily yeah if yeah. you if you really want to test the waters with a potential date uh, you should do what i did at the end of january i went on a date to the pride march so there were like 10000 oh. Oh. LGBT people and there was me and this boy that I'd never met wow. and which I thought was really nice because it means that he's he's aware he's I don't want to say woke but it really means <laughs> that he you know he cared about things other than himself and mm-hmm. obviously he was a straight person but he was a straight ally and I think that helped us bond very nicely it's not like we had these long monologues about wow. oh LGBT rights or whatever we just got to know each other walking cheering for something that we both believed in mm-hmm. um he had a so whole so bunch for of, you for you these the location of these dates are like filters you actually <laughs> Why See. shouldn't it be? Why yeah. shouldn't it be? Why shouldn't it be? Why do you want to find out from the fifth date onwards that he's some kind of homophobe? Right. You know? Cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm meeting my next one at a BJP rally. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> Our rallies in March. Guys, the rallies in March are the perfect first date. Like, do you like what this guy is saying? No, it can't happen. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying that the the that pride was like an excellent first date. It's a and you know boys, it's an underrated place to take a girl on a first date. Oh my god, we're learning so many new things. Okay. You know what? You know what? At, on this note, we'll take a small break, and after the break, we're going to be back talking about some more do's and don'ts of first dates. We'll be right back. Hello there. My name is Naveen Narona, and as a gay person in India, I get asked a lot of stupid questions. A beta is it LGBT or eligibility? How do two men procreate? Bro is grinder better than Tinder old. We answer all these questions and much more on my podcast Keeping It Queer, where I talk to individuals from the LGBT community in India and learn about their personal stories. Catch all the episodes on the IBM Podcast app or any other podcasting app you like. Till then, keep it queer. Hey guys, welcome back from our break. So now I'm going to be asking people over here what not to say on your first date. Rachel, what do you not say on a first date? What do you not bring up? Uh <laughs> so the whole idea of a first date is to be comfortable and make another person comfortable. I think we must have that kind of responsibility at least, you know, Definitely. to that person. So don't bring up if it's an unfortunate story, the story of your ex. Don't bring up the breakup. Don't bring up what a terrible day you've had at work. Don't be a downer on your first date. I mean, you know, if you if you do find that you have common interests, you can be a downer for the rest of your life with that person. <laughs> But hey, you know, just don't be that person on the first date and don't bore a person. Uh I think so much of a first date is also listening. Mm, uh so yeah. what do you think? Yeah, a lot of it. So I feel like uh, some people just go on like about I uh, trekking or like bike and go on about this for 25 minutes at a stretch and they don't know I've lost interest. Yeah, read the room, so, right? Really though, like honestly so really listen. Hate these yeah. I hate, okay. <laughs> really hate I've got to say <laughs> trekking and biking or anything that involves stuff physical have you had, physical, uh, have you had any bad exercise. experiences with someone no, who's done trekking just, okay. and then he left you for a trek he's it's like not that. <laughs> i feel like people just have like they have this you can't have a one dimensional personality don't yes, just sure. talk about one thing the Definitely. entire time and don't no assume one. that the thing that gets you so excited is yeah. exciting to tell someone i mean just like i said read the room if she's not interested or he's not interested in the things that excite you mm. move on to something else i do i uh, i did read an article about this why people end up doing this and it's super unintentional like when guys do this it's because they're also like trying to feel the safe yeah. like it's kind of a way to safe face yourself yeah. because they are uncomfortable with any other topic yeah. so mm. they talk about 
I don't know bikes because that's all they know about. So right. that's something they do it not on purpose, but they should kind of yeah, read up more get a stuff. little bit of a yeah. snore. Yeah. yeah, and also I mean keep your and and this is very common because I see it with so many friends who go on dates as well. Um, a, a good portion of a first date of getting to know someone is what kind of uh, what are you watching on Netflix or what are you watching what are you streaming, mm. and that can go on for forever because you're just sitting there and someone is going Narcos, Breaking Bad, <laughs> and I'm like you know. <laughs> I, I get it. I get it. You're a boy. You have bro shows. You like shows about boys. Great. But if you're going to tell me for 15 minutes why it's a great show, you didn't make the show. You just streamed it. It doesn't make you cool. It just makes you, you know, a consumer. And if I turned around and said, I went to Zara, or I went to H&M, I bought a pair of shorts. I bought a pair. Of... It's gonna be boring because you know all I did was buy the stuff, right? Another thing you should not talk about on the date on the first date is your dietary preferences. Yes. Oh, I'm gluten free. Oh, so I don't like stuff with milk in it. No, no, oh, that's whoa, the best whoa. way to not get a second date, actually. So yeah, go ahead and do it. You know, yeah. nip this baby in the bud. Oh, I, I think I think dietary preferences are quite important. I think. But I, think, no. I think those are those are kind of decided before the first date, right? Yes, like, you're right. But don't go on about right? it for like a half an hour. Oh, you, you can't know, because gluten sucks and I'm vegan. And no, or more importantly, you know, my nutritionist has said that I should just get more protein. So I'm going to the, oh, who cares? Yeah, who cares? Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. Just date your nutritionist then, you know? Yeah, exactly. Just tell them if you're allergic to something. Don't yes. just. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Don't go on and on. Yeah. Stop you're allergic to just because you're on a date. I think Gaurav's going to do that. <laughs> I've been told not to talk about this. So no, I'm going actually, to eat no, those Gaurav, if, if on your 81st or 91st date, you decide that you've actually met the girl of your dreams and she likes talking about food and nutrition then go for it like all you guys if, if sure. the girl's interested or the guy's interested then walk down that path but if Doubt you realize my girl of my dreams if you're talking about nutrition the whole time <laughs> um, what if she's into no, it no, again yeah. read the room so if she's into mean, it if she's into it what do you mean read the room she I'm not into it okay. what am I supposed oh I have to get into it because she's into it it's the same thing with girls and exactly. bikes and guys exactly. right? that's pretty exactly. hypocritic advice over there uh, I'm sorry uh, hey man, just, she's only been on one date what does she know oh my god you <laughs> okay, uh, personally, uh, for me, I'll tell you guys some no-nos to talk about on your first date. Uh, ladies, okay, this is a bit of a cliche. I might sound like an ass saying this, but like, I have had girls talk to me about their relationship with their parents, Aww. especially like their fathers and stuff. Like Aww. my dad doesn't talk to me anymore and Ew. stuff. And on I'm like, the first date, oh, man. I swear, like I know, like you've had a few drinks That's and everything, harsh. but don't get go all devdas on me like yeah. this. You know, but dude. Uh, another guy told me this was very dude advice, but he's like, if she's telling you about her daddy problems, that means she's vulnerable, so you can explore that vulnerability. <laughs> oh my god, that is so not a good look. Who that's gave you that advice? Anybody that's a boss moment. My best friend. <laughs> that's a hey, boss moment. I'm, Hi, a, I'm a boss. My friends are creeps. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm not a friend of a boss anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that creep friend is actually getting married soon. But anyway. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Good luck. Congratulations. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. To his childhood sweetheart for some reason. Okay, okay. Yeah. So then he doesn't know better. I mean, to be fair, come on. I mean, I mean, no, this is something one, you. He's only had one. This, this no, daddy never. issues thing is something that's shown a lot on TV shows and everything. Yeah. You know, uh, two and a half men. You know, Charlie yeah, Sheen. Yeah, but you said you just don't bring your yeah, baggage yeah, no, no. on to the I, first date. I date, don't. Man. Uh, yeah, even Barney Stinson from How I Met Your Mother would talk about oh, daddy issues. Man, he's, and he's you, terrible. Yeah. He's a, by the way, Barney Stinson is a terrible role model for first dates. May I just say? I swear, like a lot of girls are like, oh, like my favorite. Favorite kind of guy would be like Barney Stinson, and I'm like, no, no, really? no, 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 no. Really? Will Smith, Will Smith on Hitch is a good first date uh, <laughs> template. Okay, took her to an unusual uh, place. Will Smith, you mean, you mean Salman Khan in part? Yeah. Oh no, my God, no, 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 no. I take it back. This, this, this podcast is terminated. No, but I think is it isn't. I mean, in in India, the con that conversation will go there eventually because you're gonna ask her if she has a curfew, and then she's like, "Oh, do your which parents get mad?" Yeah, yeah, which is fine. Late? And then, will your parents get mad? Yes or no? Yes, they're uh, they're fairly conservative. No, I live alone. Blah 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 mm. blah. But oh my God, the last time my daddy told me, uh, "Oh no, 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 I don't want to hear about it." Thanks. No, I usually, I mean. Those kind of conversations Is something you have Before you meeting Like hey what's yeah. your curfew Which part of town Are you in So you know We can make mm. it A bit more convenient For yeah. both of us uh, Things like that 
yeah. but you know when you're actually meeting uh i actually like to talk you know let's let's not let's, let's do the opposite what do we talk about because they're telling what not to talk about yeah. and i don't think that's very helpful for a lot yeah. of people because yeah. people are like okay we can't talk about all this stuff yeah. we can't talk about what no, we like question. and everything yeah, what do we point. talk about right um so like you said i whatever dates i've gone on uh, we've fa- had a fairly good conversation online before yes. going on the first date mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so i'm fairly yeah. aware of what what she she's likes and she yeah. dislikes um so eventually you, the, the kind of inside jokes you made on text now you get to make them yeah. in person you know, sort of uh, right. yeah and then you just kind of take it from there you yeah. i mean i don't plan it out i yes. don't have like pointers you know <laughs> like no. if, this, if you if have this pointers then i mean that's a really crappy date like to be very honest with you yeah. meaning of course some mental pointers not what not to bring up but to like you know oh i got to mention this let me just write this down then i mean it's not really worth Yeah. going on over there yeah. yeah the 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 litmus test is if you are getting ready for your first date and you don't know what to talk about you've not done enough prep so all that conversation essentially How you, sounds you, like an exam now uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah come on like have you done enough prep for your first date That's of course good. hey 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 and also please i mean don't don't smell on your first dates you know if, you, if we're talking prep get ready get clean yeah. boys how please important, take how a important shower. is dressing well uh on a scale of 9 to 10 <laughs> <laughs> really no i i don't mean dressing well i mean like a no, guy no, no, no. can be well groomed you know yes a please yes 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 but he shows like, up like in his shorts and chapels oh, no. no it depends t-shirt. on where we are going okay. if we are going to play with puppies please don't come in your charag din actually mm-hmm. never wear charag din uh, <laughs> but if you are going to play with puppies then yes if you are walking down fort and looking at the heritage buildings please wear something comfortable right. you know don't wear your dress shirt or whatever it is mm-hmm. dress appropriately but I, i mean just don't smell bad yeah mm-hmm. don't um Don't come sporting red eyes because you know you were on a bender last night. Mm-hmm. Just bring yourself, bring your best self to the yeah mm-hmm. to okay. the event. And yes. how how important? Uh, like, is this uh, t- is turning up late to a date like a real turn off? Like, depends on, how, depends on how depends on how how late because right? I've been late to dates. Uh, depends so on how late and depends yeah, on that what one you, that you went on. <laughs> the one, oh God, multiple yes. dates. Oh, I'm a, I've been late on multiple dates. The three dates. you went. You've on. been late on multiple dates. Ooh, he's a keeper. <laughs> 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 no it really depends it depends on how late you are it depends on how quickly if your date was at 5:30 and at 5:29 you're like hey i'm going to be an hour late come on oh that's God. just bad yeah, form that's bad. and yeah. that's form in, that's bad form in life mm-hmm. if you're going to be late to anything right but if you think it's going to be late and uh, uh there was some there was a guy who was meeting me late and he said you know i'm on the road but can i pick up something for you since you're waiting for me and he yeah he came with like a cold drink which i thought was very nice yeah, so that's come nice. on you know there's this sweet there's right. something Right, right, right. So, okay. So, what do, what do we talk about on the first date? <laughs> what have you talked about, Surbhi? Yeah, generally, again, I feel like what Abbas said is right. Like you already have been talking to each other on text a yes, lot. Take so that forward. A yeah. lot of it comes like from yeah. your conversation online and like whatever. So yeah, again, it can be about a TV show. It sometimes it yeah, is but, about uh, yeah, a podcast. Yeah, what that TV show is about, what that book is yeah, about, and yeah. then that becomes a point yeah, of that conversation. Yeah, that does become so, and yeah. then influence like how you've been following this particular artist. So I mean, yeah. I think first it was super like you don't get into the depth of things. It's, yeah, exactly. It's like talk about your yeah. friends and why you like the friends that you have, and who's the nuttiest person. And you That's have true. in your social circle, or right. uh, essentially, you know, uh, how hard dating can be sometimes. Oh you know, it's, God, it's yeah. quite possible well, yeah. to just talk about the nature of. I mean, to acknowledge the fact that this is weird, hmm. and to acknowledge the fact that this that is, is hard. True. We do is discuss, really nice. Yeah, that's a good topic. That's that's something, and then I've, I've oh God, fine. I've, I've been on only one date, but <laughs> fine. That's something we didn't speak about. Yeah. But how dating isn't it weird? Is, like, oh my so God, weird. and yeah. I mean, and I, I, so I, I personally, I don't think it's great to bring that up because then it makes people. a little bit more self aware that they're on a date. Oh nice. Like, That's a good a point. Date, I yeah. You know? yeah. I, also, I like to I like to keep it very very like uh So what would you talk about? So well I I believe like whatever you're talking about the most important thing is eye contact. Lovely. Right? Lovely. Whatever you're talking about just He's keep eye contact. He's got nice eyes girls. <laughs> <laughs> so you keep eye contact and the thing is normally if you're a good reader of faces or just can you know sense vibes around you you can tell from someone's eye contact if they're getting bored by yeah. your conversation yeah. Yeah. or whatever. So I mean it, I don't think it is a sin to talk about yourself or talk about your no, interests because and even if even if you go in depth about it if you can see that she's genuinely interested. Exactly. But as soon as you know Is that flicker of light go off? Just make the conversation about her or yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. No, ask, with, right? ask questions. Ask questions. I love asking questions hmm. because you know I like to ask questions like, okay, so what's your craziest date you've been on? Or yeah, yeah, that's is, nice. What is the you know? 
uh, hmm. weirdest thing that's ever happened to you. Yeah. You know those yeah. kind of questions yeah. uh, that really tell you a little bit about the kind of experiences yeah. they have had, and yeah. because the experiences really form the person. Exactly. Right? So you don't really want to be with uh, someone who's been like, I, you know, like I've only been on a one. <laughs> oh I mean, if you I mean you can. So he's left good. the building now. You know? She's like, I'm gonna go have a second date just so like, I can come back and no, be part I mean, of this I podcast. Mean, if if she can still be like super interesting about other things she has done in life, mm. like oh, I've been on Queens of Comedy. I have my own yeah. YouTube channel. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. I'm on Netflix. Yeah, you know, we can talk about Netflix as long as you talk about my show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's still interesting because you're learning yeah. a lot about yeah, the other true. person, yeah. Yeah. and the more you get to know about each other the more you find out if you guys are compatible or not exactly yeah. exactly no uh, so <laughs> no i love no, i love like, <laughs> I was, I was I was about, about, always uh, no i was wondering about no all what what all you said it's fine um, okay. i was wondering about what not to say so this one girl who i told you came the first it was at one of my shows and after the show she like had a full on critique of my Ooh, my set she's like I this was... Uh, this was okay this was, it was funny but oh not that God, funny oh no. and i was like what <laughs> this <laughs> don't, is... don't rate me right? like right off the bat but hey so, did you I may ask... I just cough okay maybe just asked her like hey how was it but no, I, I asked her do you enjoy the show she was like yeah i'm like and how did you think i was oh, and no. she was like you were funny but blah 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 i feel like generally also i hate people who like critique comedy because again comedy is super subjective you got like you don't talk about oh, oh this person yeah, I like yeah. it better and don't oh. make personal attacks yeah. on your first date That's i mean leave it for lie on the first date tell me for a post coital conversation you know? <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. actually hey, tell me on the second or third date that you know because uh as my boss's friend told him when after you when you done performing you are the most vulnerable yeah. so <laughs> that's what your friend said right <clears throat> no he said if you have girl, girl has daddy issues she's vulnerable it's <laughs> comedy issues yeah, yeah no but a lot of guys not, will not ask different. you in the middle of the date and i'm not i'm not speaking from experience but from what people have told me how do you think this is going come on oh. you wouldn't ask that at a job interview why would you ask that on a date don't put someone on the spot because I mean, then there's the insecurity look, showing up yeah you know? exactly so i mean if you're going to bring your insecurity to your first date you're doing it wrong speaking of insecurities and comedy and critiques okay uh what do you guys think about self deprecating humor on the first date it's beautiful <laughs> I feel like that. So I, I, that's how I live my life. That's like, all. That's, yeah. that's not a date thing. It is a life thing life now. Life choice. Yeah. I, know, also, I think comedy of any kind is welcome, and it's better than no comedy at all. So yes, also, bring the jokes. No, I have because I mean I have finally uh, mastered the art of self deprecating okay. on a date, on a date, not on a stage. Okay, but I'm not there yet. Okay, but in, like in half an hour of the of the walk, you know that's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like you know, um, I love self-deprecating humor. I love making fun of myself because I think I'm hilarious when I do that. Uh, but like there, there, <laughs> like sometimes a girl you, you, finds you it funny and she joins the in. contradiction in that statement, right? Like uh, I'm, I self-deprecate, but I'm hilarious while I yeah, do. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's like, but I mean, I'm making fun of other stuff, not how funny I am. That is. Undis- disputable. Hasi to hasi. See, I mean, see that sentence itself was such a joke. <laughs> Anyways, uh, moving on. The thing is. that i have actually done it before like to such a point where the girl is like hey hey come on don't be so mean to yourself like yeah if you know, if you're doing it to gain yeah. sympathy no, like no, i'm no, a I'm loser ge- i genuinely I find it hilarious like i'll make some like if you can yeah if listen if it's working for you and if it means that you're going to get your 91st date by all <laughs> means no but how i can you self deprecating you must to hide my own awkwardness yeah. that's, that's what we all do that's yeah. what self yeah. <laughs> That's what it's for, bro. but like this guy is like seeking sympathy, and that just feels wrong. What? Yeah. So, yeah. Just, so remember, remember how last episode you had a bulb moment where we told you what zoning. friend zone is. This is us telling you that what a you, meta show. I'm not what you think, what you think is self-deprecating humor is just self-deprecation. Yeah. <laughs> it's just humiliating. And the know. girl feels like, oh, like don't feel bad about yourself. Fine, right? I'll sleep with you. Right? Don't don't kill yourself. And we're like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fine. Fine. All right. I mean, let's go then. <laughs> oh my God, guys! I'm never mind. Never mind. You know what? Okay. So I think we've learned a lot today on about first dates, what to do, what not to do. If you guys have any questions for us, Abbas, where can someone find you? You can find me on Twitter at Abbas Moment and Instagram at Abbas Moment eighty eight. Rachel, uh, you can find me on Twitter at Greater Bombay, and you can find me on Instagram at The Greater Bombay. Hit me up with your questions. You can find me on Twitter at the rate small talk police, and you can find me on Instagram at surbhi bug. All right, and you guys can 
uh, bombard me with your questions about relationship and love and life. Help Gaurav get to 100 <laughs> dates by reaching out to him. Uh, <laughs> on my Instagram account, Aya underscore G. A-Y-Y-A. That's my last name. Just I, I've never actually told anyone why it's Aya underscore G. It's my last name, guys. You Anyways. introduce yourself at the top of the show yeah. as Gaurav Aya. Oh, do I say my last name? Yeah. yeah. Never mind then. Aya underscore G it is. Until next time, guys. Bye. 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 Why don't we talk about mental illness? For that matter, we don't even talk about emotional wellness. And if we can't talk about either of these basic, very basic aspects of being human, what do we do when we just feel like something's not right? Hi, I'm Zain. And I'm Avanti. And this is Marbles Lost and Found, a show where we invite conversations about mental health and illness and just get people to talk about it because it's okay to do so. Catch Marbles Lost and Found every Tuesday on the IVM app, website, or anywhere you get your podcasts from. Hi, I'm Vishal Gondal, an entrepreneur. I've had the chance to meet and understand how some of the super achievers have hacked their way to success and they have done spectacular innovations. Now I take a closer look at these people's lives to find out what lies beneath the force only on the Vishal Gondal Show. Episodes out fortnightly on Wednesdays on the IVM website, app or your favorite podcasting platform.